Hello everyone, we're back for the second episode. Uh, this time, Sky has finished his uh, conceptual artwork. So he's actually the host for today. So um, we just get right on to it. Stravete, Kaxi, Moi Priatel. Okay, you should just send us a greeting. Uh, what did you just say? Bonjour. Hello, my name is Sky. How are you? Okay, well, let the uh, folks, you got it. Let's go back into this piece and uh, Sky finish this piece. And uh, here, uh, as you can see, I am on the hot seat and he will throw some rapid fire questions and um, I will answer the this piece. Yes. Go ahead. And, uh, what question do you have for the audience? Mm. Well, what one word do you describe yourself? Oh, uh, well, to tell the truth, when I first look at this, um, the only word that comes in my mind is chaotic. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's just, when I look at this piece, it looks like uh, someone who is crazy. They just <laughs> escaped the asylum. And, uh, <laughs> and they just destroy the whole house. That's what come to my mind. Uh, uh, do you have any questions uh, as for the audience who look at your artwork? Hmm. I want them to see if they can see what I see. Okay. Well, from, the, from my observation, uh, it looked uh, very uh, chaotic. Uh, it looked very uh, messy. It looked like uh, I'm in uh, a mind of a serial killer <laughs> or someone who is just crazy. Uh, is this a statement about anger or is this a statement about something? It is a statement about something. Uh, what is it? Now I need to try and guess. Uh, I see that you uh, repeatedly, when you sit down, look at the audience because it's crazy, <laughs> the audience, just look at your back. Uh, so, here, it seemed like you repeatedly uh, wrote the word Dao. <laughs> uh, now, folks, Dao is um, uh, an ancient philosophy, very deep and profound, uh, and that's why um, uh, Lao Tzu, speaking about the Dao, uh, are you telling us that you are a philosopher? No. You're not a philosopher. So, I, from the audience point of view, it's just that compulsive uh, uh, and a lot of repetition. Um, I still don't understand. What does that mean? Well, if you look closely, I wrote down a lot of times. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, now enlighten us some more. Tao is the beginning of everything. A very nice uh, philosophy. But what does it mean? Why do we have to repeat it so many times? Because Tao is very important in life. Because we, we, everything is from Tao. We use every day in our lives. Oh, okay. Uh, and from this observation, do you have any question uh, for the audience? Mm, my second question is, I want you to try and see where something special is, something important, something happy, something air happy. Okay, so you are giving me a hint that you have uh, hidden something in here that is uh, happy. Uh, that is uh, very meaningful. And so from this observation, uh, I would say that the only thing that would make me happy is, um, you know, this little snake, the origami snake, <laughs> that coming out of the page, as if he is uh, trying to bite me or something. <laughs> and um, so I'm kind of like running for my life. Well, you should be, because if you look closely, Oh, 
So this, basically what you're telling us is that this is a peaceful snake. Yes. This is not where in the Bible where the serpent is trying to trick us and try to destroy mankind. No. Okay. So this is, uh, folks, this is a peaceful philosophical snake uh, that is uh, trying to enlighten us on this path of going back home. Okay. Um, uh, for some reason, uh, although this, you say, is a very peaceful, enlightened message, but why is the chaoticness? Uh, or is it that I'm dreaming <laughs> or confuse myself? No, you should be confused because it's mainly about Dao. I just wrote Dao a whole bunch of times and something that has to do with Dao. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit more about Dao? Because you say that Tao is the beginning of everything. Tao is in everything, in everyday life. Um, but you still haven't given us something. What is in everyday life? Like, for example, if someone is drinking and smoking in the holiday, is that Tao? No. So what is it? Tao is... Hmm. I'm not sure. Very good, folks. You got it. He's not sure because Tao is the, the essence of all the enlightened saints, the essence of the spirit. How can you describe the spirit? Brilliant. <laughs> brilliant answer. That's the, the most brilliant thing I've ever heard today. <laughs> and it's... <laughs> oh, man, so, still, please stay alive man, for this interview. <laughs> um, now, you said Tao is a positive and it's a enlighten us. How come I saw a Pokemon car that has a very high attack and it's about to come out of the page and zap <laughs> us or something? Well, what, yeah. is, what is the meaning of that? Mm, I'm trying to say like, hmm, this is a, hmm, this is a, hmm, I would say a normal person. Oh, into a very happy person. Uh, very, very good. Now, uh, we are closing to the time, uh, so do you have any last word uh, for us? Uh, because this is your artwork. Mm -hmm. What do you want the audience to get from this painting? I want them to... want them to receive this incredible blessing, uh, the ultimate meaning of life. So folks, you got it, Sky, make this painting so that when we look into his painting, we're able to realize the ultimate meaning of life and to find and seek out the Tao. That's the reason why he's so obsessive compulsively uh, make this a giant piece. So thank you for spending your holiday with us. Happy Holy Day. Happy Holy Day. <laughs>